Alright, 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 let's get it on, let's get it on. Ha <laughs> ha. Alright, bought a new horse. What else do I need to do? So yeah, I'm doing the main quest. Horse is much faster. Who can I talk to though? Let's go to the monastery to see what they say. What is the quest? I don't even know what the quest is. Investigate about the cop or something like that. <laughs> Find out who in Sasa works with copper. Maybe these men would not. Respects to you. The skull is a fake. Someone fixed horns on a human skull. But where would they get a human skull? And why would they do it? Maybe to frighten the workers? Raise the price? But that wouldn't help anyone. It had to be some idiot's idea of a prank. An idiot who was nearly responsible for getting a man killed.
Did I talk to you? I don't know who to talk to. Talk to the fucking yeah. weapon smith then. Yeah. Works with metal. This is a sword trap. That's the sort I have, the duelist. Who do I talk to? I don't know who to talk to. Let me check that. Streaming, right? Yeah. There you go. Just checking. All right. Uh, there's another black. Room. Let's go to that one then. I'll see how it's there. Yeah. <sighs> I'm tired of work, work at six, yeah. seven o'clock. Yeah. Yeah. Where is the blacksmith? Oh, the fell up.
Two hours. Oh, nourishment is at least ready to eat. <laughs> there he is. I'm honored that a knight such as you takes an interest in me. I'm at your service. Do you work any copper here, Master Blacksmith? Why do you ask? I'm looking into a few things here. Looking into things? I'm on the trail of a... <laughs> You're a prick, bro. Let me... I'm at your service. Do you work any copper here? Why do you ask? I'd want to commission you to make something. Then you best go elsewhere. I never use copper. Aha. Uh -huh. What can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? Well, there's Mikesh. He's honest enough. And a fair hand at everyday things. And then there's Master Otter. He used to have talent, but now he's too old. I'm too proud to admit it. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I took... Aha. Uh -huh. Good luck to you.
I'm hungry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm honored that you should. Do you ever work with copper here? No, and even if I wanted to, I couldn't. Zach from the Monastery Craftsman's Yard has bought out all the copper. What can you tell me about the Sassal blacksmiths? There's Zach. too many of us, I'll tell you that for free. This is only a small town. There's Zach, who has a forge in the Craftsman's Yard and mostly works on the construction of the church. And then, apart from me, there's Master Armorer Otter of Rabstein. Tell me more about Zack. <laughs> Don't have much time for him myself. He knows his craft, no question. But he seems to think his son, Vitus, will be a Master Armorer in Prague one day. <laughs> My father was a blacksmith, and I expect he thought much the same about me. That's how fathers are, isn't it? Of course, any man should be proud of his boy. But Zack makes pride a sin. That's why he's at loggerheads with Master Otter. What are Zack and Master Otter arguing about? Zack had his boy Vitus trained as an armor in Kuttenberg, and he wanted to buy out Otter's place for him. Except that Otter's a proud man. How would it have looked? A master armorer giving way to a young whippersnapper who's barely let go of his mother's skirts? And they've been arguing ever since. Well, Zack mostly. He badmouths Otter every chance he gets. He claims that he's only fit for mending pots, and that his son will see him off. Can you tell me something about Master Otter? Well now, there's a master to look up to. He's worked for the Lords of Kunstadt and for the richest townsfolk of Prague. If you don't mind my asking, what brings him here? The same as draws all reasonable people. He's enjoying the peace and quiet. Well, rather, he used to enjoy some peace. That dispute with Zack must have put a few more wrinkles on his brow. So Zack's the one that brought out the whole um, copper. Thank you. Good luck to you. Is there food here? Take it from the pot.
Let's go to a bath house, man. I need to clean my bloody clothes. They look dirty. There it is. Jesus Christ. I'm and what is it you get myself? But of poor. Fine. Here it is. I'm sure you'll be extremely satisfied. Good luck then. There you go. Now it's nice and clear now. Go back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? That's not what I heard. What? I was told in town that you bought all the other blacksmiths' copper. I'm being made a fool of yet again, it seems. Anything else? I still have work to do. Hmm? Is there another blacksmith here? I'm honored that you Good luck to you. Hmm? I'm confused. I just asked one, but now... I don't know, bro. It's not working. Yeah. 
I hope I can be of some... Your father says you don't work any copper. We don't. I've heard differently around town. They say your father's brought up all the copper to be had. Are you calling me a liar? Or my father? You're asking for it, boy. You're right. It's nothing to me either way. Right. So clear off. I mean, beside the fact I'm here on behalf of the Royal Burgrave Sir Radzik Kobola, investigating a grievous crime against the Crown. What? What are you talking about? I'd let you read my Bill of Authority, but I doubt you're educated enough to understand it. I'm... I'm so sorry. I didn't realise. If I'd known, of course I wouldn't. I mean, you understand, don't you? Stop prattling, for God's sake, and start telling me the truth. What's the story with the copper at your forge? You're right. We do make copper sheets here at night. So why all the secrecy about it? Father forbade me to talk about it. I don't know why. I didn't ask. Who buys those sheets from you? I don't know. I've never set eyes on him. Father doesn't like to talk about it. Your father has some serious explaining to do. I'm so sorry. If I'd known who you were, I'd never have taken such liberties. Never mind. You weren't to know who I am. You were just protecting your father's business interests like any good son. Thank you. Take care. So back to that copper, Master Blacksmith. What? I thought I told you I don't work with copper. Your son put it quite differently. What's that? What are you blabbering on about? Don't be angry with him. I didn't give him any choice. All right. I suppose there's no point lying. We do make copper sheets here, and I wanted to keep it quiet. Why? It pays me good money, and the people I do it for. I wouldn't want to get on the wrong side of them. Did they threaten you? They didn't have to. Just by the look of them, I could say I needed to shut my mouth and do what they wanted. And did they ever tell you who they were? Do you know where to find them? I know a little. I'll show some understanding. There's nothing but trouble in it for me. I'll lose the work and be left looking over my shoulder for some thugs to come and burn down my house. Or worse. If you lie down with dogs, you shouldn't complain about the fleas. There's no need for threats. We can both benefit here. If I tell you everything I know, you can help me with a certain small matter. One that'll cover up for my loss of earnings. talking about I recently tried to buy master armorer Otto Rabstein's business for my son Vitus but that old fool wouldn't listen to reason he said he couldn't understand his legacy being taken over by a clod like my Vitus despite the insult I doubled my offer but master Otto still wouldn't budge and what is it you need from me I thought I'd show Otto that Vitus isn't such a dolt as he thinks but for that I need someone experienced in combat Well, that doesn't sound so bad. What's your plan? Otter's busy making a very pretty suit of armor for the bailiff. So I was thinking, if we could show that pretty armor of his is absolutely useless, he'd be disgraced. And how am I supposed to see to that? Well, 
I reckon we'd arrange a duel of champions with bludgeons. You'll put on Vitus's armor, and Otto will send his champion in that tin shit of his. You invite the bailiff to watch, and Otto will be made a laughingstock in front of everyone. And what do I get out of it? What we already agreed. I'll give up dealing in copper, and I'll tell you everything I know about what's been going on. Nah, I don't much like the... Please yourself. About that copper. I told you everything I've got to say. I'll be on my way. I can't wait. About this duel in Vod... Do you really think that will work? Otter's always mouthing off in the air, and Vitus will re... How about if the armor for the bailiff mysterious... Jesus Christ! Don't even... Although... If exactly. You're right. Do whatever you think fit then. Of course. About that cop. I told you everything I've got to say. I made you an offer. Now it's up to you. I'll be on my way. But I'll be back. I can't wait. Take care. This guy's a prick, man. No, oh, game saved. Good health to you. Can you show me how? Certainly. I'd like. First, you have to. Well, Master Armorer, I have a message for you from Blacksmith Zap. If it's another one of his so-called generous offers, you can go straight back and tell him I'm not selling, and that's that. <laughs> No, this is another matter. Vitus wants to challenge you to a duel. <laughs> what? <laughs> Me fight with that brat? Zack must have lost his mind entirely. Surely you're not afraid of him, Master Ha! <laughs> it will be a duel with bludgeons. No bloodshed. At most, a few bruises and some dents in the armor. Zack chose me to wear a Vitus armor. And so I'm to choose a champion of my own? That sounds reasonable. Good. So let's agree on the time and place. Hold your horses, young fella. I've got a counter offer for you. Now I'm sure Zack is paying you well. I won't deny it. I could pay you more. And I tailor make a Kiros just for you. What do you say? You mean if I fight as your champion instead? I'm not sure how Zack would take it. No, no. You fight on Zack's side and lose. That's not very honorable. And Zack's constant slander and mudslinging are the height of honor, are they? Well, 
It's true Zack hasn't behaved like an honorable craftsman. See? So, will you help me? Ah, forget it. I won't sully my name with cheating. Suit yourself. But my champion will batter you into the ground anyway. So you've nothing to gain. So, choose the time and place. What, me? You're the one being challenged, so it's your right. Well, it's all the same to me. Go and sort it out with the bailiff. He should know about it anyway, so I don't look like a troublemaker. All right. May the Lord watch over you. I'm not even sure. Only need to come to the tower. I hope I can be of some humble service to you. I'm here on behalf of Blacksmith Zack. Zack? What does that madman want now? Don't tell me. It's another complaint about the Master Armor. Well, you can tell Zack if you waste another minute of my time with that pathetic feud of his in the office of the bailiff. No, it's not a complaint this time. In fact, Zack came up with an idea to settle the dispute once and for all. Is that so? Well, that's a different kettle of fish. That's just what I was after. You have my full attention, friend. What's his plan? A duel. Jesus Christ! Has he lost his wits entirely? Don't worry, Goodman Bailey. No one will get killed. It will only be a duel with bludgeons. Zack chose me as his champion. I'll be wearing a suit of armor made by his son, Vitus, and I'll fight Otter's champion. Whoever falls first, loses. <laughs> that sounds like a fine spectacle for the village green. Naturally, I'll have to be present to ensure nothing untoward happens. Your presence is certainly expected, Bailey. We'd like you to referee the whole duel. Very well. We'll have it on the marketplace in the front of the church. But when? That's up to you. We could announce it right now. Let's do it. I'll have it announced around town. You come along at just the right time. It'll be a fine show for the townsfolk. And I'll finally get that pair and their constant squabbling off my back. Good luck to you. Good citizens of Sassau! Our township has long been plagued by a protracted dispute. As you are no doubt aware, Zach, the blacksmith of the monastery courtyard, and master armorer Otto Rabstein have been, for some time, at odds. <laughs> and in so much as it behoves my office as bailiff to settle such disputes and maintain peace and order, I have decided to resolve the blacksmith's quarrel by unconventional means, whilst affording an entertaining spectacle. In short, we shall let them knock each other's teeth out. <laughs> However, since it ill befits two respectable tradesmen to maul each other on the market square, like a pair of cocks on a dung heap, each of them has elected a champion. Zack, the blacksmith, has appointed to fight in his stead Henry of Scarlet and Master Otto Rabstein's <laughs> champion will be. <laughs> Please introduce yourself, Sir Knight. Master Otter will fight for Master Otter. I don't need some young pup to take my place. <laughs> I remind you that this will be a duel with bludgeons alone. And until first blood is shed. 
Come, folks, be sensible for heaven's sake. We don't want any maiming here or, God forbid, murder. So, if both contestants are ready. <sighs> oh, bro, I'm tired. I'm not taking that. No, that's fine. will be ringing for a month. Now everyone will see who knows how to make armor and who's all hot air. You shouldn't speak so disrespectfully about Master Otter. He fought bravely. No need to get worked up about it. You've got to savor the victory, haven't you? Anyway, come by the forge later for your reward. All right? Yeah. 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 I hope I can be of some help. About that copper. I told you everything I've got to say. I made you not. I'll be on my way. I can't wait. Goodbye. Uh. Yeah. Yeah. So I have to wait for the guy yeah. from.
Bloody, it took that long. Again, lad, it's worked wonders for my trade. I'm glad your trade is going well. Now, about our little deal. Ah, that little matter. Right. So, out with it. How was it all arranged? One evening, I got a visit from this scruffy beggar calling himself Rabota. He had a yellow cape on and kept whistling to himself. There was a knight with him too, but he didn't give his name. They told me what I had to do, how much I'd get for it, and I had to keep my mouth shut. Hmm. And where can I find this Rapata, or the knight? I don't know exactly. But I've always left the wagon with the goods behind the monastery, on the hill there, next to a small chapel under a big tree. Anything else? No. I swear that's all I know. Well, that'll do me for now. Take care. Game save, yeah. <laughs> now, where do I need to go? I need to go. Okay, cool. I need to go back here then. Missions are quite long, to be honest. Oh, I'm hungry again. Save you, good night. What can I do for you? Is there anything interesting going on? It's so peaceful. Hmm. God bless you. What troubles you? You look different, Master. So I to fit in. I don't want it known that I'm in town. Why? I don't want to alarm our prey. Gossip spreads quickly, and if those scoundrels loam her onto them, they'll flee. And that does make sense. So what have you found out so far? I found out where they get the copper sheets from. Really? So tell me. It's the smith on the monastery craftsman's yard. He supplies the counterfeiters. Do you know how he gets the goods to them? No. All I know is that someone called Rapata collected the goods. Not much, but it's a start. This is not a common one. Listen, Henry. I had another thought on the way here. Those counterfeiters have to have a punch die to make the fake coins. Yes, of course. That's sophisticated work. There's a man I know who works at the monastery yard. Master Engraver Jerome of Silesia. You don't suppose that he's... No, not that, God forbid. I know him well. He never do anything like that. But he runs an engraving workshop, so he might have heard something. Very well. I'll ask him. But ask with tact. I don't want him getting offended. And I prefer you not to mention me at all. I'll try to think of something. That's all. Good luck, then. Let's go to... What time is it? I need to...
Look at so far. I'm gonna get. Every day, so I work out about it. Every day, every day. Well, look here. How did this get here? No, we're gonna pick that up. <laughs> 